What's up, fellas? T26 here. I was bored um, today, so I just wanted to show you this game I made. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm taking a programming class in high school. It's called Computer Information Sciences. It's just using QBasic to make, like, uh, just to solve, like, these weirdo math problems and to make programs, which, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but any of you that are programmers, you know that, you know what QBasic is pretty much. It's just a basic programming language. And, uh, you can make games with it. So, I made Pong. I've been making Pong as a final project, because you have to make a final project, so... I just thought I'd show it because it's pretty cool. I, I'm actually pretty proud of it. Uh, if anybody else, know, if anybody else programmed in QBasic before, let me know because that'd be cool to talk to you. Uh, yeah, this is my Pong game. It's I don't know how many lines of code it is, but as you can see, there's quite a lot here. Uh, yeah, programming isn't an easy thing, even if it's like a little game like this. It's sometimes tedious, but most of the time it's not that bad though. It, it was fun to do this, but. There's still some bugs in it that I have to work out before the uh, final release of it for uh, game day in my class, but uh, yeah, let's just get on with it. F5 to start it up, and here is the here it is. So I have a little menu here has play and controls. Press one to play or plus two. Press two for control guide. Uh, right here, programmed by me. Programmed in Microsoft QBasic version 4.5.0. Even though this on my computer right now is like way more advanced because the computers at my school are a lot slower. Copyright April slash May 2011. So, uh, let's just hit the control guide just because i show everybody what this is. Here we got controls. Player 1 is left paddle. Q and A to move up and down. And uh, player 2 right paddle. O and L to move up and down. Press enter to return the menu. Okay, let me hit enter. And we'll hit 1 to play. Select ball speed. Uh, 1 through 4. You can do 1 is slow. We'll start with that. And what do you want to play to? We'll just start with three. So I can show you here. Press any key to begin. It doesn't matter what it is. Let me just get the mouse out of the way. And let's go. Uh, have you, as you heard, there's a hit. There's a uh, sound that beeps when it hits. It's pretty cool. There's still some bugs. Like you still can go above the borders for just a little bit, but not a lot though. But I have to fix that. And sometimes the ball does seep through the paddle. But uh, other than that, it's actually programmed pretty well, I think, by myself. So, I'll show you that. Uh, let's just let it get a point. So that's one. And we'll just let it get a point again. And let it get another one. Then we can show you all the different speeds. I've just been really busy lately with baseball for one, and number two, with the prom. So I haven't been doing anything. So I've been, like, really busy. So all of a sudden, I'm not doing anything, so... I want to show you this, what I've been working on in school. And now we'll do medium mode. We'll just play to three again. This is like the preferred mode to play at. And this is like arcade right here. Not too fast, but it's like perfect, you know. So, and you do hear the sound when it hits the paddle. I had to program that in. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I just want to show you this game. It's pretty fun. Pong. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with it. It's a classic arcade game. I thought it was going to be really hard to program, but... It actually didn't turn out that bad, so. Oh, that, uh, that one got through. Fuck. Oh shit. Hold up. And I'll show you fast mode. Let me just let this hit that. Okay. Uh, okay. Fast mode is three, and we'll play to three. This is like this is like a challenging mode right here. I like. Oh, this is a challenging mode. I think. It's pretty good. I think. This is like the best speed to play at. It's not recommended, but I think it's like the most competitive speed to play at. Ah, fuck, I, I misjudged the bounce. I had to program all the bouncing and crap. It, was, it wasn't as bad. The teacher helped me. Fuck, that one missed the paddle. Fuck, that one did too. The teacher helped me a lot with it. Not a lot, but some of the stuff was pretty uh, easy. The other stuff was hard. Alright, we'll play this. We'll play super fast mode. This is like hard as hell. Oh fuck! Can't even beat my own game. I'm just playing myself. It's not like I'm playing a person. Okay. Oh shit! Oh yeah, save that one. Damn, it's like the longest volley I had on super hard mode or very fast mode, I should call it. Ah, oh, it's hard because they go in intervals. The paddle changes depending on uh, what what number you type in. Paddles are a lot faster, and the ball's a lot faster too. If you didn't notice, oh, that one. It's just.
my fault. Okay. Well, that was my fault too. I went up. Looks like the left paddle's better. Anyway, that's my game. Hope you liked it. Uh, I will continue doing uh, Let's Plays, playthroughs, whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, I have to get ready to... I'm going to start doing Pokemon Black and White again. I'm going to start doing Congress Bad Fur Day. Oh my god. That will return, I promise you. So, just wait for that. And I do have Perfect Dark videos on Rareware Archives. The Rareware Archives YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash Rareware Archives. I'm gonna upload, I'm, I've been uploading there for the past like week. So, if you want to check that out, check it out. If you want this program to use in QBasic, let me know. See ya later.